fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> days of the western United States, a few outlaw leaders became so strong that they not only seized cattle but property as well, and set themselves up as the largest ranchers in their counties. The local sheriffs were powerless against them, and they might never have paid the penalty for their crimes if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. It was he more than any other man who brought law and order to a lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading north! There's going to be trouble! Hello, Silver! Away! <laughs> Late one afternoon, two horsemen rode side by side over the winding trail that led to Martin's Point. Although it was winter, the ground was still free of snow. An unusual thing for that time of the year, for this was a high Montana country. A badge marked one of the horsemen as a sheriff, while his companion, hatless in spite of the cold, was distinguished by a shock of coarse red hair. The sheriff's features were fixed in an angry scowl. The other man grinned at him and... Careful there, boy. <laughs> well, Sheriff, then it weren't so accidental after all, you meeting up with me on the trail this way, huh? I warned you, Red. Think it's funny that's your lookout. <laughs> yeah. Well, what would you say I ought to do? Sell my place in Vermouth? That wouldn't be a bad idea. What if I don't? And I'll keep my promise. You ain't so slick, Red. You slip up one of these days, and when you do, I'll jail you. Just hope I get enough on you to see your hand. <laughs> you mind my telling you something, Sheriff? What? <laughs> You're a fool. Yeah? Who's the biggest rancher in this county? <laughs> uh, you are. Yeah, uh huh? And who is it tells folks around here what to do? You. Up until now. <laughs> Up till now? Sheriff, don't you go making any mistake. I've been telling them, I still am, and I'm always going to. Don't worry none about that. And if you had any brains, fella, you'd quit trying to push me around and get over on my side. And will never be. No? No. First place, when I took office, I swore to uphold the law. I gave my word. I ain't selling out the folks that voted me in. <laughs> Second reason, ain't got nothing to do with this badge I'm wearing. It's personal. I don't like skunks. Never did. Especially when they wears pants like you. Sheriff, ain't that pretty strong talk? To the fellow that pies and deeks him's cows? Uh-uh. <laughs> Go ahead, Sheriff. Shoot off your mouth if it makes you feel any better. I don't mind. <laughs> if you could prove anything, we wouldn't be riding like this. I'd be behind bars this minute. 
You either killed Bob Beasley's brother or had someone do it for you. <laughs> Jake Wallace borrowed money from you. Later on, he paid you back and you gave him a receipt. And you stole that receipt and made him pay over again. Sheriff, you get funnier every second. There's other things plenty. Just since you come here. I wonder what kind of a dirty game you played before you hit this state. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've declared myself red. But if I was you, there's something else I'd be worrying about. What's that? What the folks you've cheated are likely to do. What can they? I don't mean inside the law. No. I mean what they're likely to do when they get tired waiting for the law to catch up with you. What they'll do when finally they decide the best thing for fighting fire is more fire. I don't get it. I guess you do. Anyhow... If you don't, I'll make it plain. What the... Oh, boy, what was that? Bob Beasley. Hey, you loco, would you put down that gun? Nope. And don't you go for yours. Neither one of you. Hey, what in blazes is this? I've been waiting here for you, Red. I didn't know the sheriff would be with you, but that don't make no difference. Figured on giving myself up afterwards anyhow. Hmm? After what? After I drilled this sneaking coyote. Well, you can't I do heard that. what you said just now, Sheriff, and you hit it square. I'm one of them fellas who got plumb sick and tired of waiting for the law to take care of this hombre. Hey, wait. You killed Ned. Now, listen. You dry gulched the kid like the sneaking sidewinder that you are. You never gave him a chance. No. Well, you ain't getting a chance with me, neither. Bob, don't talk crazy. I ain't talking. I'm acting. Bob, no, wait, listen. You're all wrong. Honest, you are. You, you don't know what you're doing, what you're talking about. Now, let me tell you the facts. Now, listen. Shut Bob. up. No, put that gun away. You yellow trying pole cat. No, Bob. Hey, don't Bob, see you. Do... Oh. All right, Tonto. Pick up his gun. Oh, let me get him. A mask, man. What the? You, you shot my gun away. You, what? You, I'd like to... I saved you a hanging. Vickers. Uh, me? You, on your way. Get going. What? You heard me. Move along and keep moving. Say, who in thunder you think you are, mister? The man who's giving you your orders. Well, I don't you like... don't want to take them? All right. Now, hit the trail. Now, my next shot will be close. Yeah, I'm going, stranger. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'm going. Get up, boy. Get up there. Get up there. Stranger, maybe you ain't noticed it, but I'm the law around and here. And you and I, Sheriff, are on the same side. Hmm? Or have you changed? Has Red Vickers scared you into backing him? Mister, I'll whip the man that says that's true. Then what are you going to do about this fellow? Punish him for attempting to bring justice to a man you haven't been able to touch? Bob, what in the dickens got into you anyhow? Don't he deserve killing? Hasn't he had it coming to him since the first day he come to this county? Yep, reckon he has. But after you've taken things into your own hands, what do you reckon would have happened to you? Well, I'd have been jailed, I guess. Think it'd been worth it? A thousand times over. Maybe, if there weren't a better way to handle the situation. Huh? You seem to know an awful lot about things around here, stranger. How come? It was news of this situation that brought Tonto and me to your county. Yeah? Although it was just luck that we chose this trail to reach town and saw this fellow hiding here with a gun in his hand. So that's how you happened to meddle. Right. And lucky for you, Bob, he did. Stranger, just who are you? Well, that doesn't matter. Well, what I does did... matter is the fact that Tonto and I... And get you the evidence you want. Huh? A witness who not only can send Red Vickers to jail, but to the rope. You're telling me the truth? I am. Where is that gent? Some distance from here. Lead me to him and stay here where you belong and keep things under control. So that no one else makes an attempt on Red's life. What is... Here, Silver. Yes, Count. You do that, Sheriff? Will you hold the lid on the trouble in this district? Until we can bring you the man you want? You see, the trick of some kind is it, stranger. Have I asked anything I shouldn't? Is there anything I can gain by this? Not that I can see. How long will you fellas be gone? Perhaps uh, ten days, not over two weeks. And the hombre you're after? Knew Red Vickers several years ago. He saw Red commit a murder, but was afraid to tell the law what he knew. He disappeared. Tato and I hunted for him for months. Now we've got a clue to his whereabouts, and I'm sure we can persuade him to talk. Mister? Well? You made a bargain. Bring me that gent and you can ask what you want. Yep. Uh... We'll ask just one thing. Yeah? The rope for Vickers. Mister, he'll get it. Good. Ready, Tonto? Uh-huh. Then come. I'll Silver! Get him out, Silver! Tonto. Silver. The mask that Army was wearing. Sheriff, I'll bet that masked man's the... The Lone Ranger? Yeah. <laughs> Young fella, I guessed that right from the first. All right, Bob, get your horse. Promised the masked man I'd keep watching in trouble. <laughs> So I'll make a start by riding herd on you. Oh, here, Red. I've 
been looking all over town for you. Well, found out what you wanted to know, boss. Got Bob to talk. You did? Hadn't you better step down the end of the bar where we won't be heard? Yeah, come on. This'll do. I'll ride out with it. Red, that masked man was a lone ranger. What? Hey, you sure of that? Bob claimed he was. I'll be switched. The lone ranger. Go on, what else you learned? Boss, I reckon once you made a mistake. What do you mean? The masked man's gone to find the fellow that's got something on you. What's that? So Bob said, anyhow. Said the masked man told him and the sheriff you drilled a fellow once. And there was another fellow around seeing you do it. Sam Foster. Huh? You know who the fellow is? Know him. I've been trying to locate that hombre for the past five years. Oh, There's gone. just one fellow alive can send me to the rope. And Sam Foster's the man. Boss, and that means... Uh, uh, you're in a doggone tough spot. What do you figure to do? Uh, what else, Bob, say? He tell you when the masked man will be back? He say anything about uh, where he was going? Uh, then... Uh, but he won't be gone long. I got that much out of him. Uh-huh. Well, what are you going to... Oh, wait a second. I, I got to think this out. Hmm. Now, look, maybe this won't be so bad after all. Huh? I've always wanted to know where Foster disappeared to. I never found out. But maybe now the masked man will save me the trouble. What do you mean, Red? He's bringing Foster here. Yes. And we're going to set fellas to watch in every trail that leads to town. Come on, let's get back to the ranch. <laughs> expected to be. Well, ain't seen you around for a week or so, Bob. In fact, ain't seen you since that day we met up with a masked man. Where you been? <laughs> well, behaving myself by staying at home like you told me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but that's what I dropped in for. Huh? I mean about the masked man. Like you said, it's been quite a spell since he left here. Told us he wouldn't be gone over ten days. Figure anything's happened to delay him? Well... Nothing happened. What? what? Who said that? I said it. I'm at the window. Well, I'll be... Sheriff, it's the mask man. Back again. Hey, go round back, mister, and I'll let you in. No. Uh, but, uh... Sheriff, I have the man you want. And he's waiting in camp with Tonto. Get to the saddle. We'll ride there at once. Come on, old fellow. Get up. Get up. Hey, mister. How much farther we got to go? It's turning doggone cold. I'm just about freezing. We're almost there. Our camp is just over this rise. Oh, I'm right glad of that. Stranger, I'm thinking it's right lucky you got back when you did. Yes? Look to the northwest there. If that don't look like snow's on its way, I don't know what does. I think you're right. Uh Uh-huh. And when snow comes to this part of the country, it don't take long for the trails to get blocked. You'd have had a fine time making it here. But we beat the storm, and that's all that matters. Well, there's our camp, Sheriff. We... What's wrong? Where's Tonto? Must become a foster. I don't... They should be there waiting for us. But they're gone. Come on. Hurry, Silver. Come on, old fellow. Come on, boy. Get up there. Get up there. Come on, Silver. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Look at those footprints. <laughs> Sheriff... There have been a half a dozen horsemen here. Their signs are all over. You think there's been trouble, masked man? Think it? I know it. Tana told me he'd wait until I returned. He's never willingly broken his word to me in his life. Hey, what's this paper nailed here to this tree? Give me that. It's a message of some sort. Here you are. What's it say, huh? Sheriff, neither Tana nor Foster wrote this. Mm, good. The men who captured them. Captured them? Yes. But how Captured you... them, Sheriff. And threaten to take their lives unless we buy them off. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When the masked man told his two companions of the threat that was contained in the ransom note, young Bob Peasley was all for immediate action. Masked man, how much them coyotes want? $5,000. Turned over to them the day after tomorrow. Or Tonto and Foster die. The yellow sidewinders. Doggone it. What in blazes are we waiting for? There's their trail. We can't let them get away with this. Come on, we'll follow them. Sure, that's an idea. It can't we'll... be done. Oh, I reckon it could. I'm right handy at reading sign. And Bob here ain't so bad himself. Why can't it? Maybe you haven't noticed, but it's already begun to snow. Huh? It's begun to come down, sure enough. In 15 minutes, every trace of that trail will be gone, covered up. Then we're sunk. And that means... Yeah? That in order to save Tato and Foster, we must meet their terms. Give in to them crooks? The lives of two honest men are at stake. But why Hold can't... it, Bob. The masked man ain't done. Leastwise, I'm willing to bet he ain't. Got something else on your mind, ain't you, stranger? Perhaps I have. Mind telling us about it? All this was planned carefully long ago. It must have been. What's written in the message they left us couldn't have been figured out on the spur of the moment. He ain't told us all of it yet. What else it say? It tells how the money must be delivered and how we can let them know if we agree to their terms. What's their instructions? Do you know Big Moose Valley? I sure do. Who don't? The day after tomorrow, one of us, unarmed, is to ride to the center of that valley with the money and wait for it to be called for. They promise to deliver their prisoners at the same time. Well, I'll be hogtied. The slick coyotes. I'll bet I can tell you why they chose that place. Yes? In the first place, anybody up in them hills can get a look at the valley from one end to the other. If one of us went there, but he wasn't alone, they'd know it right off. We'd never have a chance to hide a posse anyways nearby to grab them off. So that's it. Yeah, and I'll tell you what else. Oh? The bed of that valley's all cut up with gullies and dry arroyos. They don't mean for the man that delivers that cash ever to get away alive. They chose a place where he couldn't make a run for it. Cut up with gullies, huh? It is that, stranger. Hundreds of them. Good. Huh? Tell me this, Sheriff. There's no doubt Red Vickers is behind this. If I give you my word to bring him to justice, can you promise me that $5,000 will be raised? Well, Oh, I... Sheriff, you know doggone well if the men seeing Red jailed, every man in the county chip in. I'll put up a thousand myself. Well, the cash could be raised, all right. But you've heard what the masked man just told us, Bob. With a setup like that, how's Red to be caught? Stranger, ain't you figuring to get Foster free, then have him testify again Red afterwards on that murder charge? No. If Red's behind this, he'll never keep his word. He can't afford to. He'll attempt to take the cash, then murder the man who brought it and his prisoners as well. Then how do you figure to... I have something else in mind. Sheriff... Get that money, and I'll ride the Big Moose Valley. Unarmed? Yes. Are you clean, loco? No. Sounds to me, masked man, like you're asking to get drilled. Do as I say. And I promise not only that Red will be jailed, but that the money will be returned as well. How in thunderation you can promise that, I don't know. But I can, Sheriff. And I'll keep that promise. Huh? On one condition. Yeah? That it continues to snow. <laughs> Tarnation, you doing in town? Did you forget telling me to come in and report? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, everything all right? They never tried to trail us. Reckon the snow kept them from it. The engine and Foster are tied up in that old line cabin. The boys are stand guard. Why? <laughs> what are you doing here staring out the window when there's liquor to be had over at the bar? <laughs> Waiting. Huh? <laughs> Waiting for what? To see if they're going to get the cash and pay up. Oh, well, I suppose... Wait. What's the matter? The sheriff just left his office. Now we'll know. I don't savvy. Now watch what he does. Huh? Looks to me like he's just going to nail up some reward notices outside. Uh-huh, two of them. One above the other. He's fixed them to the porch. <laughs> Say, does that mean... Tell that that's me... the signal. It means they will. Tomorrow we collect. Everything's set. Doggone. What's the matter? The matter? <laughs> Not a thing. Boss, you're slick. <laughs> you think so? Anybody will stop to look at a dodger. No, uh -huh. So if they're watching to see who's interested, they won't be able to tell a thing. <laughs> Which is why I've done it this way. <laughs> uh -huh. And tomorrow at this time, yeah. you can lay what you want on it. The cash we ask for will be sent to the valley. Well, 
stranger. One thing you want it sure come true. And what's that, Sheriff? The snow. Look at it. Ain't stopped falling yet. Look how it's filled up them cuts there. Why? I... Uh, what's ailing you? See anything funny? Uh, sorry, Sheriff. No offense, man. Just was laughing at something you said is all. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> About the snow filling up them cuts. I don't see nothing funny in that. <laughs> you would if you knew the masked man's scheme. What? Forget man? it, Bob. You'll learn everything soon enough, Sheriff. Where's the money? Right here in this poke. But listen here. How come Bob knows what you're planning when I don't? I needed his help. This is the second time we rode out this way, Sheriff. Him and me was to the valley last night. I don't get this. We had certain preparations to make. <laughs> yeah, pulling up weeds and bushes and planting them again. Hey, what kind of foolish talk is this? Not as foolish, Sheriff, as it may sound. I better tell your men to halt. You can't ride much farther with me or you'll be seen. Pull up, fellas! Whoa, oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. I'm leaving these guns with you, Sheriff. Yeah, take them. You mean you're really going in there with nothing to fight with? Yes. Mister, you can do what you please, but no matter what you're scheming, I wouldn't meet them coyotes without packing irons for all the golden hills. Take them. All right. Now, give me the money. Here you are. Then we're set. Stay in these hills where you won't be seen. Make no attempt to enter the valley until two hours from now. You'd be seen before you'd get close enough to identify them. Uh-huh. Now, trust me, Sheriff. Golly, ain't I? This money will be returned. Uh, that don't matter so much. And Toto and Foster will be released alive. That does. Come on, Silver. Hurry, old boy. Hurry. <laughs> Look over there. A horseman. Alone. The law's maybe hiding back there in the hills. Uh huh. But it'll never catch us in a million years. Abe, you lead the horse the engine's tied to, and uh, you, Slim, you lead that other gent. All right. We're riding down there collecting that cash. <laughs> and then blasting the three of them. Come on, fellas, let's go. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Steady, silver, old fellow. They're coming now. <coughs> Tando's with them. And Foster. Here, this way, old fellow. Uh, this way. A little farther. Uh, there. Oh, boy. Oh. Now we know they'll have to approach from the direction we want. Hello there. Hi. You got the cash, mister? I have. Stop where you are. Rain up. What's the idea? Leave your prisoners where they are. And come on without them. What's that? Do as I say, or you'll never lay your hands on this money. What do you think you're up to, fella? Don't argue. If you want this money, you'll take your orders from me. What do you think that hombre's planning? <laughs> I got a good idea. Yeah? He likely suspicions we're going to drill him when we've collected. And likely thinks if we leave the engine and Foster behind, they'll have a chance to run for it if he's double-crossed. Oh. <laughs> the only thing is, though, he don't know they can't make a break because they're tied. <laughs> sure, we'll leave him behind. Come on, fellas. Get up there, boy. Get up there. Get up. Get up, Get up. Get up there. We're doing like you say, mister. I'm What's it look like we're doing? Careful where you ride, boss. There's cutbacks and arroyos all through here. Snow's filled most of them up. Watch you stay on solid ground. You see them bushes and weeds? Uh-huh. Well, they show us just where we got solid footing and where we ain't. Just head for there. Yeah. Get up, fella. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on, come on. Get up. All right, mister. You get that cash out. Hey, watch out. I'm falling. Oh, I'm Two hours are up, Sheriff. Let's get going. Right. Boys, follow me. Get up. 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 Get up.
last of the ropes, Tonto. Feel all right? Ah, uh, Foster? I was hard of feeling like I got pins stuck in me all over, mass man. I'm fit as a fiddle. Fine. There comes the sheriff. He'll soon have these fellows rounded up. Mass man! Help us out of here and I'll give you anything you want. Just name your own price. You gotta get us out of a hang. Hey, mass man, you listening? The sheriff will be here in a moment, Red. You can explain all that to him. No, you can't. Hey, there! Where's that boy you was going to meet? Where'd you get to? Uh, right here, Sheriff. Oh, 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 oh. At the bottom of this gully. Well, I'll be... I look at them, fellas. <laughs> Trapped as good as if they fell into a bear pit. <laughs> Sheriff... That's where them weeds and bushes I was telling you about came in handy. Mm-hmm. This is what Bob and I prepared last night, Sheriff. The snow had filled this gully to the brim. When we planted bushes on the surface, it looked as if it were solid ground. Red led his men directly into it. <laughs> and here's your money as I promised. It wasn't needed. <laughs> Sheriff, you said Red was slick. Well, slick as he was, he met up with somebody a whole heap slicker. Take them armies into jail, Sheriff. And when you do... Don't forget to thank the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver Hoy! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.